Morning all, back on the 30 acre field after 10 days of non-activity due to heavy rain. But luckily enough here, the soil is nice and sandy. And I've walked onto the field down to where we're going to start detecting. And it's pretty solid. So we're looking forward to a good day. Just have a quick look around. Using the DAS in Gary's hot program with tracking and the 11 inch coil. Here for the full day, so let's hope we find something good. On to the first signal. First good target of today, oh, I've travelled around about 200 yards, had a few signals, but nothing very good. But just down where my shovel is pointing, if I can aim it in the right place, there we go. Looks like penny of some kind. Uh, bend down here as best we possibly can. And, uh, oh, I'm oh, not sure what this is. No, thanks to Cressy7 is back, he showed me the best way, or a good way, to clean up your coins when you're on site. And that is one of the wife's Spray, give it a bit of water like that. Not too bad, is it? And then, hmm, it's not too bad either. <laughs> give it a bit of a clean up. I'm guessing that this, yes, it's a Roman start to the day this. Hope the wind isn't spoiling it too much. I'll try to get my back to it. It's blowing from the northwest this week. Which makes it a damn sight colder. But there's definite head there. Let's just bring it over a bit. Yep, I think that's a Cestarius. Anyway, good start. On to the next. Moved on some 20 yards from the last signal. There's me all there and in here. Quite a strong signal. I've had a quick peek at it and it's a thin coin of some kind. Oh, damn, pick it up. Have I got it? No. Oh, well, that was a go. Still need to pick that up. Lost it. <laughs> well, have a go with the pointer. Save a little bit of time. Got it. They won't get away. <laughs> I'll have a damn good try. Right. What have we got? can with a rag and we'll get out with a spray. Got me back to the wind so I should be okay. There we go. Oh, it's alright. <laughs> should put some hot water in I think. <laughs> back in the old pouch. Let's have a clean. Another Roman. Must be back in condition. I wonder what emperor we've got here. You know, I don't want a bit of Roman emperor. Too dangerous an occupation. Keep getting bumped off. But that. Let's put that a little bit closer to the screen. Yeah, I think uh, some of the guys on the forum. An idea on that. Yep, lovely. On to the next.
Well, it's been, oh, I think, about an hour and a half since I had anything of any significance. Um, and this is now cropped up. There is some writing on there. Oh, blow if I can see what it is, but that looks a very interesting little find, that does. How Earth has managed to keep intact over the years, I do not know. Because where my finger's pointing is very, very thin. Anyway, it's made of base metal, and there is definitely some inscription on there. So, that'll be something researched when we get home. On to the next. I was got to say a live dig this time, but it's right on the surface. It's coin shaped, like where my oh, can't see probably, where my shovel is there. We'll have a look. It could be a button, but we'll have a look. Mm -hmm. Let's have a give that a bit of a wipe. Let's get round for the sun a bit more. That's better. Uh, I would say that's a blank disc. One time it masqueraded as a coin, but not anymore. Even if I put some of uh, Cressy 7 is back magical water on there, I fancy nothing will come of it. Never mind, on with the next. Well, two yards on from the coin which you never got to see anything on, we've now come up with this. Gave it a bit of a spray and my Synopsis on this is, well, I haven't a clue, whichever way you look around it. Could be some kind of buckle where the leather went in and out, in and out. I'm not sure. Be interesting to find if anyone does know what it is. Doesn't look that old. Anyway, on with the next. Just now dug that from down in that hole there, and uh, I was about to discard it. Job I didn't. Look, there's a looks like Britannia sitting on a back side with a scepter. That's what it looks like. If I bring it in too close, maybe you can't, uh, feel, or maybe you can't see it properly. I haven't felt it right, but uh, yeah, it does uh, pay to clean the metal you do dig up because sometimes. You may be throwing something away, it may not be valuable, but of interest. So, good, on to the next. Another hole, as they say, and just in front of it, there's some what looks like a coin. I hope that isn't a button. What have we got? Nope. Oh, we have a. Feeling, you must be too quick on, on hasty on making these judgments. But um, I would say, I'm just get run away from the wind a little bit. Oops, that wasn't me, by the way. That was my detect. Looks pretty much crudded to me. I don't think we're going to get a lot anything off that one at all. Even again if I use the magic spray out in the field I fear not much detail. Well I'll clear it when we get back and see if we can get in more detail. Anyway on the next. So to the roundup. Yesterday, there's one come off the field. Unfortunately, the batch went dead on me. And uh, as I was coming off, I managed to find two other coins. Namely, the George VI 1943 sixpence and a well faded George I farming. I also got some musket balls, which I didn't record. And uh, what else? Anything else? No.
no, that's basically it. So, starting from top left, we have what uh, John Danzig Man from the NDF suggests is a watch wind, which seems feasible, and the mule, and I think he's got this right, is a military cap badge, or part of. I've got four well toasted Hackneys, probably George I or George III. On here, thanks to Tony from the forum, we've got a Sesterius, and I hope I say this right, of Antonio, oh sorry, Antonius Pius. And the smaller coin here is a Constantine the first, and on the reverse, whatever this is, a Beta Tranquilitas. And again, I hope I said that correctly. So yeah, overall it was a good day. Weather kept fine, unlike today when it's absolutely hammering down here. And uh, hope you liked the video, and uh, we'll move on to the next one. That'll be bye for now.